na wa salatu wa salam ala nabiya na muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bada habit of Allah question was asked assalamu alaikum akhi i hope you are well as of this moment i am in egypt and i plan to strengthen my quran and arabic by the time i am done i will be 23 years old inshallah by the way i'm somali so my father lives in mogadishu and he told me about america's that is run there by a strong student of knowledge. The length of the program is three years. And I was strongly considering going because I'm still young and I know and requires sacrificing your time. But on the flip side, I'm thinking about my dunya affairs when I return to my country with nothing to stand on in terms of a job, stability, etc. I would be starting everything fresh by 26. By the time I'm 26, I would like to be married, have a stable job. Uh, however, I know that knowledge takes sacrifice so that aspect would be difficult when i return also i plan to get into a trade when i return inshallah but for some reason in my head i'm i keep thinking that 26 is old it's probably because because i pictured myself at 26 i thought it would be i thought i would be married have a job helping my mom uh sorry for such a long question but since you are older with more experience in life what would you advise me with as a 21 year old Jazakallah khairan uh, first of all uh, I would say as the Salaf used to say Talib al -ilm, Talib al Jannah that seeking knowledge is seeking paradise and then I would also probably advise you with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the Hadith of the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam who said Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bihi alman sahalallahu lahu tariqan al jannah Whoever traverses the path of knowledge uh, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise So I would say keep seeking knowledge as your priority And that is a young age and you will be able to carve out your sustenance from the dunya because your rizq is with you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has your rizq written for you you will be provided for you will marry uh, 21 is is very young so you have much ahead of you inshallah and so with that being said I would say more specifically I would advise you to try to get into the Islamic vers uh, University in Medina or Umm Qura in, in Mecca or uh, one of the other universities in Saudi uh, to continue your Talib al to continue your studies because you are at a young age and that would be a unique opportunity uh, to seek knowledge and seek knowledge from many uh, and be in the land of Tawheed where there are many ulama sunnah many 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 and major scholars uh, who call to the book in the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that's what I would advise as a first priority and you can work on those other skills and plan for those other skills while you're there but if you get that unique opportunity you should follow you should go th forward and do that if that is not an option for whatever reason and you don't get into one of the universities uh, yes you could go to Somalia and that would be something beneficial as well I don't know about Mogadishu because I hear a lot and I know people who are there currently uh, about the stability in me myself I really wouldn't advise it right now uh, so but with that being said of course there are ulama sunnah there as well <clears throat> but I would advise it again Saudi as my first preference and in addition to that you could also just stay there right there in Egypt and gain min, uh, gain uh, immense benefit linguistically, uh, as far as the Quran, as far as fiqh, as far as all of the sciences. So you can benefit tremendously right where you are uh, if you have the means to do so. And you can always do other things to bring in income uh, to continue your study. So you have a lot of options and I would advise you to prioritize if you have the intention, if you have the will, and if you have the uh, the aptitude for seeking knowledge, and you see that you are benefiting, and you see that this is something you can do, then I would advise you to be patient and continue to do so. And that would be the first priority. Those other things, you can look at other passions by the time you kind of have achieved something, achieved some sort of uh, level 
in your studies in Talib al -ilm. If you decide you want to go back to wherever your country is, uh, it sounds like it's probably a Western country, either in the U.S. or the U.K., that you can go back and you can, uh, you know, still go to a university and, and pursue a trade if that's what you want to do, trade school or university degree if that's going to help you uh, achieve your goals. So there's no reason they don't ta'arud. They don't have to contradict one another. Instead, they can complement one another. But I would say since you're already on the path of ilm, continue to stay on that path if you see that you have an aptitude for it. And why I keep mentioning that because some people they go and they find that they're not really studious and they don't really have the real desire so and perhaps for them it may be better for them they've gained a little Arabic they gained a little Quran and then, then they go back and they pursue a trade or whatever that may be what they're they're calling not everyone is meant to be a Talib al -ilm that is going to reach a level where they're going to give da'wah or whatever their goals are but everyone should as the Prophet Sallallahu said Talib al -ilm, al Muslim al -Muslima, everyone should gain a certain level of knowledge so that they're not dependent on for their aqidah that they're not dependent on blind following just for their creed you know that they have to ask someone, is is Allah one? Should I worship him him alone? Well, my sheikh said, actually, I can go to my wali and my marid, and I can, uh, you know, uh, you know, and I can go to the dead and 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 um, and ask them. So no, this is uh, so this is. Uh, you know, it shows it's an obligation that people have to have a certain degree of knowledge. So there's a certain degree of knowledge that every Muslim should have and every Muslim will be responsible for. So uh, you have to determine what your particular situation is. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.